Good day, acute angels! Welcome to a new learning episode. This is Teacher Eliza, your grade 8 mathematics teacher. Today, you will learn about solving problems involving factors of polynomials. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to solve problems involving factors of polynomials. Let us have our word problem number 1. The product of two consecutive integers is 272. Find the value of each integer. The first thing that you need to do is to define the integers. Let n be the first integer and let n plus 1 be the second integer. The word product here means to multiply. So we need to multiply the two integers together. The first integer which is n multiplied by the second integer which is n plus 1 equals 272. Now, we multiply everything out. n times n is equal to n squared and n times 1 is equal to n. So the equation will become n squared plus n is equal to 272. Now, set the equation equal to 0. In order to do that, we need to apply the subtraction property of equality to subtract 272 from both sides of the equation. So, n squared plus n minus 272 is equal to 0. Once the equation was equated to 0, then it is time to factor and solve. Since the first term is n squared, we know that the factoring must take the form quantity n plus blank multiplied by quantity n minus blank equals to 0. It will take this form because when we multiply the two linear terms, the first term must be n squared. And the only way to get that is to multiply n by n. Therefore, the first term in each factor must be n. To finish this, we need to determine the two numbers that need to go in the blank spots. We can narrow down the possibilities by listing all the factors of the third term which is negative 272. Here are the factors of negative 272. And on the second column is the sum of each pair. Take note that the sum of the correct pair of numbers or factors must be equal to the coefficient of the second term. In our example, our second term is n and its coefficient is 1. So in this case, the pair of factors negative 16 and 17 has a sum of 1. So this is the pair that we are looking for. Now let us substitute or put these two factors in the blank spots so n plus 17 or quantity n plus 17 multiplied by quantity n minus 16 is equal to 0 this means n plus 17 is equal to 0 or n minus 16 is equal to 0 for our first value of n we have n equals negative 17 or n equals 16 we have solved two values of n. Let us find out what will be the other value of the second integer if n is equal to negative 17 or 16. If n is equal to negative 17, we will just substitute negative 17 to n plus 1. Then n plus 1 or negative 17 plus 1 is equal to negative 16. Hence, the two integers are negative 17 and negative 16. Next, what about if n is equal to positive 16? If n is equal to 16, then n plus 1 or 16 plus 1 is equal to 17. Hence, the two integers are 16 and 17. Both of these pairs are correct. The answer to this problem or the value of the two integers are negative 16 and negative 17 or 16 and 17. 
Let's move on with word problem number 2. The length of a rectangle is 2 feet less than 3 times the width. If the area is 65 feet squared, find its dimensions. Let x be the width of the rectangle and 3x minus 2 its length and its given area is 65 feet squared. The formula to get the area of the rectangle is length times width. So we have to substitute the given expressions for these terms which are quantity 3x minus 2 and x equals 65. Now multiply everything out. 3x multiplied by x is 3x squared and negative 2 multiplied by x is negative 2x. So this equation will become 3x squared minus 2x equals 65. Now it's time to set the equation equal to 0. To subtract 65 from both sides of the equation, we need to apply the subtraction property of equality. So 3x squared minus 2x minus 65 is equal to 0. Since the equation was already equated to 0, then it is time to solve and factor. For this given trinomial, the factoring must take the form quantity 3x plus blank multiplied by quantity x minus blank equals to 0. Since 3x and x are the factors of the first term, 3x squared. Or x may come first and 3x may be written as the first term of the second factor. Now, we need to complete or determine the two numbers that need to go in the blank spots. In order to do that, we have to get the factors of the third term of the given trinomial, negative 65. Here are the factors of negative 65. Negative 1 and 65. 1 and negative 65. Negative 5 and 13. And 5 and negative 13. To find the correct pair of numbers or factors, we will plug in each of these factors and multiply out until we get the correct pair. Let us start with negative 1 and 65. Now we multiply the either terms 65 and x, which is equal to 65x, and the outer terms 3x times negative 1 is negative 3x. Now get the sum of these two products. 65x plus negative 3x is equal to 62x. This is not the product we are looking for since this is not equal to the second term of the given trinomial which is negative 2x. Now let us try another pair of factors. Let us have 1 and 6, negative 65. The product of the inner terms is x and the product of the outer terms is negative 195x. Get the product or sum rather of these two products, we have negative 194x, which is still not the product we are after. Now what about the third pair of factors, negative 5 and 13? Let us plug these two numbers or these two factors. 13 times x is equal to 13x and the outer terms 3x times negative 5 is equal to negative 15x. Add these two products, 13x plus negative 15x is equal to negative 2x. Now, negative 2x is equal to the second term of our trinomial. Therefore, this is the pair of factors that we are looking for. We can now proceed and solve this equation. This means 3x plus 13 is equal to 0 or x minus 5 is equal to 0. For our first value of x, we have x is equal to negative 13 over 3 or x is equal to negative 4.3. And the second value of x is equal to 5 or x is equal to 5. The width of the rectangle is x is equal to 5 or 5. Its length is 3x minus 2. So we have to substitute the value of x which is 5 
So 3 times 5 minus 2 is equal to 13. And its area is length times width or 5 times 3 is equal to 65. Therefore, the dimensions of the rectangle are its width is 5, its length is 13, and its area is 65 feet squared. We are done with our last word problem. The difference of 3 times a number and 2 is the same as negative 9 times the square of the number. Find the number. Let x be the number and 3x minus 2 equals negative 9x squared be the given equation. We will set this given equation equal to 0. We will apply addition property of equality and add 9x squared on both sides of the equation. So this will become 9x squared plus 3x minus 2 equals 0. Now it's time to factor this trinomial. The factoring will take the form quantity 3x plus blank multiplied by quantity 3x minus blank equals 0. 3x and 3x are the first terms for each factor since these are the factors of 9x squared. Now to get the second terms, we have to determine the factors of the third term of the trinomial which is negative 2. And these are negative 1 and 2, 1 and negative 2. Let us try first the first pair of factors which are negative 1 and 2. Multiply the inner terms 2 and, neg 2 and 3x, we have 6x and multiply 3x and negative 1, we have negative 3x. 6x plus negative 3x is equal to positive 3x. Since 3x is the second term of the trinomial, therefore the pair of factors negative 1 and 2 are what we are looking for. We can now proceed in solving this equation. So this becomes 3x plus 2 equals 0 or 3x minus 1 equals 0. Our first value of x is x is equal to negative 2 thirds and the second value of x is 1 thirds. To check these two values of x that we have obtained, let us substitute them to the given equation 3x minus 2 equals negative 9x squared. Let us start first with negative 2 thirds. If x is negative 2 thirds, then 3 multiplied by negative 2 thirds minus 2 equals negative 9 multiplied by negative 2 thirds squared. Multiply 3 and negative 2 thirds and also negative 9 and negative 2 thirds. So this becomes negative 2 minus 2 equals negative 4. Negative 2 minus 2 is equal to negative 4 which is equal to negative 4. Now, if x is equal to 1 third, then 3x minus 2 equals negative 9x squared will become 3 multiplied by 1 third minus 2 equals negative 9 multiplied by 1 third squared. Multiply 3 by 1 third and negative 9 by 1 third squared. And the equation will become 1 minus 2 equals negative 1. 1 minus 2 is equal to negative 1, which is equal to negative 1. Therefore, the possible values of x are negative 2 thirds and 1 third. And that ends our discussion on solving problems involving factors of polynomials. Great job, grade 8 learners! Thank you for your time and effort. I hope you have learned a lot from this discussion. Again, this is teacher Eliza May Kunanan, your grade 8 mathematics teacher. Have a good day and God bless.